Neanderthals are lurking amongst us. California grapples with the economics of climate change and join the pipe hopes to bring tap water to all. This is Planet 100. Welcome to Planet 100, the top environmental news stories of the day in 100 seconds or less. I'm Sarah Backhouse and it's Tuesday, May 11th. A recent study published in the journal Science may help you make sense of your ex-boyfriend. The study revealed that as modern humans migrated out of Africa, some of them interbred with Neanderthals, leaving bits of Neanderthal DNA sequences scattered through the genomes of present-day non-Africans. Neanderthals lived in Europe and Western Asia before dying out 30,000 years ago, but new fossil evidence show they coexisted and mated with humans in Europe for thousands of years. Scientists came to their conclusions after extracting DNA from 40,000-year-old Neanderthal bones. And now here's Nick Astor with BizTalk. This week on Triple Pundit, we focused on California's landmark global warming bill, AB 32, which Governor Schwarzenegger put in place in 2006. The bill states that California must reduce its greenhouse gas emissions to 1990 levels by 2020. That's about a 25% reduction from business as usual. Now, an oil industry funded group has placed a ballot initiative on the November election that will force California voters to approve whether or not AB 32 will continue. Thanks, Nick. And finally, are you a tap water drinker looking to connect with other like palated individuals? Look no further than a new social network, Join the Pipe. The Dutch organization's mission is to bring together a community of tap water drinkers with a dream to bring drinking water to everyone without it. Cheers. I'll drink to that. And that's our show for today. See you tomorrow for more Planet 100 news.